nesting, 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 one, two, three, four. Hello, world, slash universe, slash place where everything lives and resides. Life, death, and everything in between. We will be covering the full spectrum of all of that in the next three minutes. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm Nature Dreamweaver, and this is Nature's Dreams. And if you know me, great. And if you don't, well, now you do. I, um, I've been thinking a lot, as you can see. And I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be alive after you've died. Because I kind of died, and I came back this uh, fall, winter. It was an exciting experience to learn that there is no death. Life is only a dream. And we are but the imaginations of ourselves. Or something like that, that Bill Hicks said. And so I'm just going to, I'm just re-dreaming myself into a new state of being. Uh, I did that by doing some cleansing, by doing some yoga, by doing some meditation, by doing a lot of deep introspection and self-discovery over the fall winter. It was not so much fun, but in the end, I'm happier, I'm healthier, I'm better off. Uh, what else? I just nested uh, Arizona for the first time, built my first nest there. If some of you know what my nests are, others don't. And the nest is a New Earth Sacred Temple. That's our acronym for it. And what happens in the nests? Well, we generally take people in there that we don't like and we kill them. No, not, not really. But, I mean, you know, th there is a dark side to the nest. Uh, we don't like to talk about it very much. Uh, but the light side of the nest is uh, ceremony, uh, prayer, ritual, meditation, um, connection community, co-creation, music, art, you name it, it happens in the nest, except for all the bad stuff that we don't ever want to talk about or see happen in the nest, because the nest is a respectable place to be, and to live, and to inhabit, and we, we want everybody to feel safe and comfortable and loved by the earth and by God in the nest. Uh... And, you know, sometimes we need to take people in there and spank them, you know, tell them, you need to be a better person. <laughs> and that's kind of like maybe what the universe was doing to me a little bit over the winter. It was like, you know what? You, you're doing good, but you can do better. We can always do better. I feel as humanity, we can do a lot better than we're doing right now. Uh, I mean, the zombie apocalypse is already happening. Um, it's called Fox News, and if you want proof, you just watch The O'Reilly Factor, and you watch a man's face sag. It's, it's pretty much a dead man talking. Instead of dead man walking, it's a dead man talking to you, and it's, it's kind of scary. And so the zombie apocalypse is already happening. We can either choose to participate, or we can create something a lot better. So I'm going to create something a lot better this year. I'm going to create a lot more art, a lot more beauty, a lot more magic, a lot more uh, healing, a lot more peace, a lot more fun uh, than ever before. We're going to start at Lucidity Festival, building the lover's nest with I Am Life, and there will be uh, music, and there will be tea, and there will be silly money, there will be cacao, there will be uh, workshops on uh, gender alchemy, and the love of money, because we, we, let's, let's just face it, folks, we need to... Uh, heal our relationship with money and just make a lot of it so we can do the things that we love to do and we can help more people that way too. Uh, I mean, that's one way of looking at it. Um, for now, I think I think we kind of covered, I think we everything between life and death and everything in between, we kind of covered all of that this time around. Um, more to come on Nature's Dreams. And we will be seeing you live at Lucidity Festival uh, next month. Uh, for now, I will be in L.A. Um, doing Seva at Peace Yoga Gallery. And I hope to see you on the mat. Peace.